everyone. <laughs> Hope you can hear me okay. I don't have the microphone, but uh, I don't know. I just want to get away from the news. We've been watching it. We've been praying for the Ukrainians, and and uh, we're praying that, you know, it's a David and Goliath situation, and you know what happened there, so we're going to believe on that. Uh, and Cheryl, I just want to mention, I'm listen okay. to the baby. I'm You're in okay. here. That's our little... Our little poodle may see that just bark. She likes to be right in here when I'm practicing. She uh, loves your music. Oh, yeah, those who sit on she and Nico. Uh huh. The well, chords and all. I hope you're you're doing well this afternoon. I'm just arranging things still. Would you mind if I just moved that? We are here and just praying, 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 and believing God for a miracle for this nation, yes. for those in Europe. You know the situation. I don't have to talk about it because we've been watching it on, on TV. But right now, I thought we should get away. Let's just get away and just relax. And, and let me just play. I mean, practice. That's what I'm doing. I'm practicing. And I've been working on a piece for about a week and a half. I believe I got it pretty much memorized. Uh, uh, I, I just want to see how I do practice. Uh, and then those that... Not even taking piano lessons, that's fine. You could maybe just see how it works for me at the piano when I'm really working through a piece and I take it to different levels. I'm working on a Gershwin beautiful melody uh, that was arranged for piano by Earl Wilde. That's W-I-L-D. I love his arrangements. His chords are gorgeous. And then I can apply these chords to whatever else I play. It just kind of expands my my chordal ter territory, so to speak. And this is called Embraceable You. This is it right here. Look at all those 16th notes and 32nd notes right here. <laughs> the whole thing flows beautifully once I learn how to play it. So I'm at a point right now, what I've done is uh, I've been working on this for about a week and a half. I've been analyzing it harmonically. I've been working on my technique to form into the chords that are written on here. And uh, it just, it's a process, you know. It's just like when we read the word and we, we keep going back to it, it becomes a part of us. And, and that's what happens here with music when I learn uh, a new arrangement, especially something that someone else wrote. Now I improvise myself too, but I thought this was so lovely and so beautiful. That's maybe someday I wanna put it in my show, you know, and so, so just listen in as I practice. I'm gonna stop and go, if that's okay with you. You don't have to watch all the way through, but you better, baby, because at the end, I'm gonna to try to play it all the way through, <laughs> you see? Okay, so this is uh, it's based on a George Gershwin's Embraceable You. You know, when I go like this. It's an easy way to play it, but this arrangement is absolutely beautiful. So allow me to just play, that's all. And uh, Cheryl's in the room and she listens and I say, Cheryl, what do you think? How does that sound? And she says, <laughs> she never says it, so it sounds bad. I appreciate that. Well, it that. never sounds bad. <laughs> but uh, Cheryl likes this beautiful arrangement Love too. It. So I'm gonna take it, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go to two sections where have been, that have been a little technical challenges for me, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna skip the first page, but just to give you an idea, it's a lot of this. See, it, it flows like that all the way through. Now there's a section here that I'm, I'm learning. Uh, it's a little, just a little bit of a passage that's a, it's pretty technical. So this is how I do it. I. Uh, it's based on a C chord. Actually, it's written, written in the key of C. Thank God. And um, this is what it does. It's, a little, it's a, kind of a little bridge that goes like this. Isn't that pretty? I love that. I can use in a gospel song, like when I play. Ah, you like that? Maybe you'll 
Let it end the song. <laughs> I've learned to slow things down when you practice. That's the only way you can improve your technique. You've got to hear it harmonically first. Now, I know it's a C chord, okay? And so I'm, I kind of stay within that space of, of C, D, G, or sixth or seventh of the C. So here's what he wrote. I'll work up to it. So it goes like this. This is how it starts. So I've got the first page, page memorized pretty much. Sorry. That's not too good. Try it again. From the beginning.
luscious cords. I love them. I'll go, let me go back. I'm going to go back to this uh, last uh, little bridge and then the second one. I hope you're, I hope you're watching. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, because I'm learning here and perhaps you're learning too if you're a pianist. Or you just are enjoying listening. Gershwin, beautiful piece arranged by Earl Wilde, that's W-I-L-D, and he has taken Gershwin melodies and has arranged them beautifully for piano, and this is Embraceable You, in case you didn't figure it out by now, <laughs> the way I'm practicing here, but uh, it's a, like I said, it's a process, before you know it, it'll be a part of me, I pretty much have it memorized, but I, I still have to get acquainted with the movement and the hands and you know, my fingers get all over the place, but it's got to be pl put it in the right place. So uh, I'm going to go on now to the next section. The next session does, uh, it goes then, uh, how about, let me go to this part. Again. Stress. 
scratch. two different levels. Right hand is doing a whole different chord uh, and the left hand is, is another chord. You know, left hand does this. Right hand does Sounds like clashes, but when you play it together, it's pretty. It's amazing. boring to you <laughs> let me tell you you have to practice and I do this with a lot of the music over my whole career in ministry so uh, I do this because I love doing it it's a gift that God has given me and I do it for you too to enjoy this by the time I have this I'm able to play this it'll be a very beautiful piece I promise you <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, the last page then goes like this. these keys into beautiful chords. I mean, it's just, ah. Uh, it is again. And then at the end, I like this too. He brings back the theme, and he goes again. protecting the right hand from those chords. So it goes like this again. This is the very last three lines of the piece. Pretty. I can even use that in some music, you know. That's the piece. Isn't that pretty? Woo. Now I'm going to try to play it by memory. Go no, I'm going to keep going, Cheryl. Okay. Could I have a little sip of my coffee? And our bakery is now making banana bread from scratch. Mm -hmm. Our nephew, PJ Bartholomew, he's baking all this wonderful pastries and cakes and, oh, uh, we have an opening on uh, March 15th coming up. I would love you to be there. And we're going to be giving some, some samples and people can come in and greet Cheryl and myself. And we're going to have some other folks there from Branson, Missouri, celebrities, what have you. And I'd love for you to be there. Come on, come on down. Oh, the banana. And he's got, in the middle of it, he's got like a cheese, uh, cream cheese, cream cheese filling. Don't oh, now I'm gonna really play. Here we go. Uh, and Here we go. May I go? Oh, you have to go, baby. You can go. That's right. We're just, I'm just practicing. All right. Okay, I'm gonna take it kind of slow, not as fast of tempos as it should be. That's a good thing to do. And study everything you play. Concentrate, listen to the chords. Let it be a part of you. Let it get into your your very being, okay? See how it starts? I love that. See, just that right there.
do that again. Sorry to get from. <laughs> I do this too once in a while. If I make a mistake, I just kind of go on to the next section and really uh, I shouldn't. You need to go back to where you struggle a little bit and work it out, that's all. So this I had to figure out. So this.
Enjoyed listening to this piece as much as I love playing it. I mean, I can just keep playing it and playing it, but it's got, it still has a long way to go. And I just need to just keep practicing it with feeling. on this one you have to really concentrate well I thought I'd just share a little bit of my practicing and probably when I turn you off so to speak <laughs> I don't mean to turn you off but I'll probably keep working on this today today's a good day uh, as I said at the beginning we've been watching the news and praying 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 as I said it's a David and Goliath situation and you know that story I talked to I believe it was Kenneth Copeland just the other day. I think I mentioned it in my last uh, time I was with you. And uh, I said, Kenneth, what do you think? I, uh, I said, he, he said, well, we're pray all we can do is pray. He says, I got one of my headquarters there, ministry. There are a lot of great ministries. The Renners are there in Moscow. That's the man that has written all these amazing books. It's called The Gems or something. It's really a, a, a daily devotional. And uh, he and his wife, as a matter of fact, we were their guests. We went to Moscow and we played in Moscow and also in uh, the U Ukraine. Had a wonderful service there. All oh, the people are so on fire for God. I don't know if you're watching, but they're singing. They're on the, in the subways and they're praising God and believing God for a miracle. And we're believing with them, aren't we? Oh, we can't let the enemy conquer. I pray that to God, dear God. Give the Ukrainians just wisdom. Give them supernatural strength as they get out there. I think one of the one of the most wonderful decisions that the president has made, which is to me, he's become a hero. He stays right there with his people when he asks all the men from 18 to 60, I believe, to fight for the country. Boy, that built up his defense, that's for sure. And I believe that's been helping. Well, thank the Lord that we have still the freedom here in America to do what I'm doing right now, to play songs for you, and especially to play those songs that you love the best. And I play them, we send them to you, it's got your name on it. Do you know what? There, there are several ladies, more than several actually, that have asked me to play their very special song for their home going, for their funeral. What an honor that is. And while the family's listening, and as I mentioned the name of those that have gone before us to see our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I play the songs that they, they loved hearing like. <laughs> Quest for that. So I don't want to, of course, we're not, <laughs> we don't want you to die. But, but you know what? One of these days, if the rapture doesn't take place, we are going to be taken to see our Lord and Savior. So I'd love to play the song that you would request. Put it in your will. I'll be mentioning your name and mentioning the family and playing it from the bottom of my heart for sure. Well, we need to go now. And I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much. And I'll be, I'm going to keep playing Embraceable You until I get it right. And I hope you'll enjoy it, okay? Go to uh, dinoatthepiano.com or 24caratcake.com and you can order your, your very special song for me to play for you. And uh, for any time, really, I would love to do that for you. God bless you and have a wonderful evening. Let's keep praying. I believe in miracles because I believe in God. See you later. Bye. Cheryl, where are you? You didn't close, you didn't shut this off, so I'm gonna do it myself, guys. I'm gonna get behind here and go over, finish, finish, finish.